Kamala Harris has issued a fiery statement claiming that Donald Trump is set on becoming a dictator. She alleges he plans to weaponize the Justice Department against his political foes and push forward his highly controversial Project 2025. Donald Trump has openly vowed, if re-elected, he'll be a dictator on day one. That he will weaponize the Department of Justice against his political enemies. Round up peaceful protesters and throw them out of our country. And even, and I quote, terminate the United States Constitution. What's more, Trump advisors have created a 900-page blueprint of their agenda for the second term. They call it Project 2025. It includes a plan to cut Social Security, to repeal our $35 cap on insulin, to eliminate the Department of Education and end programs like Head Start. So let us be clear, this represents an outright attack on our children, our families, and our future. The Constitution, a cherished pillar of U.S. governance, is at the heart of this debate. Harris's accusation that Trump aims to terminate the United States Constitution might strike many as hyperbolic fear-mongering. Critics will likely dismiss these claims as scare tactics. The notion that Trump wants to round up beautiful protesters and throw the country out of our country clashes sharply with the public's strong sense of law and order. There is a clear distinction in the public mind between peaceful protest and unlawful behavior. Many will argue against the idea that Trump intends to stifle legitimate dissent wholesale. Harris also highlights concerns over potential cuts to Social Security and the removal of the insulin price cap, which resonate deeply. The public is divided, however, on how entitlement programs should be managed to ensure their longevity. While some view these cuts as an assault on the vulnerable, others see them as necessary steps towards more efficient and fiscally responsible governance. The suggestion to eliminate the Department of Education and Head Start programs sparks a significant debate about federal versus local control in education. Those in favor argue that reducing federal intervention empowers local organizations that better understand and can address community needs, advocating for a shift towards local control. In this emotionally charged dialogue, Harris's stark warnings about Trump's plans provoke both fervent support and fierce opposition, underscoring the deep divisions in public opinion.